Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top 10 classic arcade games. Each and every one of these games come from the 1980s or the 1990s and they might not be the most technically amazing arcade games out there but each and every one of them holds a place in my heart. Now that, sound really, that actually sounds a little bit cheesy but each and every game that I'm going to show you now are classics from the arcades. So sit back, grab yourself a drink and we'll get started. Cheers guys. In 10th position is Star Wars the Arcade Game, released by Atari in 1983. It comes housed in one of the most iconic gaming cabinets of all time. The game features digitised sample speech by the likes of Mark Hamill and Alec Guinness. In my position we have Virtual Racing. Now this came out from Sega AM2 and it was released in 1992. It's a Formula One racer which is housed in a two-man cockpit however it can be linked to another two-man cockpit where you can have four players and I remember playing this with my mates and it was game in heaven. Fantastic game. The banter which we, we used to which used to fly around while we played this game was amazing but it brings back so many happy memories. In 8th position we have Defender which came out in 1981 and this was from the publisher Williams. It's a horizontal scrolling shmup. It was a favourite of mine because the game actually retained high scores due to having three AA batteries housed inside the cabin. So when it was turned off, it remained at high scores. Amazing game, but very tough. In seventh position, I had to put Pac Man. Now, this came out in 1980 from Namco. The Pac-Man is featured in over 30 official licensed spin-off titles. No classic arcade top 10 would be complete without Pac-Man. In sixth position is Gorf. Now this came out in 1981 by Midway. And Gorf stands for Galactic Orbiting Robot Force. Now the actual game taunts the player throughout the gameplay via its synthesized speech. 
Again, it's just five missions or levels. In fifth position is Phoenix, released by Century Games in the US and Taito in Japan. It was released in 1980 and features five levels. Brilliant game. In fourth place is Space Firebird, released by Nintendo in 1980. This was one of the first arcade games I actually played, and it just fell in love with it at the time. In third position is Final Fight. This was released in 1989 from Capcom and is a scrolling beat em up. It features the characters Guy, Cody, and Hagar. And I remember being on a lad's holiday in the early 90s and playing this one afternoon in one of the arcades in Rhodes, Valoraki, and me and my mate, we, we just smashed the game. In the number two position is Gauntlet, and this was released in 1985 by Atari, and it's a dungeon scrolling hack and slash game. You can play it to four players, Warrior, Wizard, Valkyrie, and Elf. I think I used to either play the role of the Elf or the Warrior. Hordes and hordes of ghosts and enemies came at you, and you just had to have a back of your mate to play this game. Brilliant game. And in first position is Star Force. This came out in 1984 by a film called Tekan. And I don't think it actually had its own dedicated cabinet as such. It's a vertical scrolling shimmer. 
And I remember playing this back in the common room in college or university back in the early 90s. We had so much fun playing this game. And there was always a battle between myself and my college mates and who could get the highest score on the game. And I was actually pretty good at it as well. So then guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making the video. It certainly did bring back a whole load of memories. Remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so you don't miss any future content. And remember to hit the like button and to add any comments below. I'll see you again next week. Cheers guys and bye.